FF Battle 7. We got a whole new venue this year and a stacked field. Not only are we at Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California, home of NASCAR, we got cars filled with superchargers, turbochargers, NA powered, some are even close to four or 500 horsepower. These cars are really, really fast. We got a big day in store for you guys filled with front wheel drive racing action. Before you count these guys out, some of these lap times are faster than some supercars. So let's take a look and see what the day has in store for us. This year marks the seventh annual FF Battle presented by Continental Tires and Super Street Magazine. FF Battle is limited to front wheel drive, normally aspirated or forced induction builds in the tuner class. Drivers are getting the opportunity to test their skills at the Exotics Racing infield course. This is a time attack style format, meaning the fastest lap of the day wins. The Speedway offers a challenging course that really tests the vehicle's cornering ability. With three fast straightaways, eight turns, and a few chicanes, this 1.2 mile long track is the perfect stage to test the driver's ability as well as their car's limits. The track just went live and Utah has already put down some convincing lap times in his practice Civic. Okay, so Utah, tell me about your day, man. You brought, you're driving two cars here? Uh, yeah, technically two. I brought my practice car, which is a V18 powered EG. Very simple, just super lightweight, just fun to drive. And then we're driving uh, the Nemo's Garage EG right here, which is just ridiculous. K20 supercharged, and it's got like an RSX dash. It probably has air conditioning, it's amazing. Great time. Continental Super Street always throws good events. Along with Utah and his red hatch, both these yellow ITR drivers have come to the track today with high hopes of setting themselves a decent time. Unfortunately, not everyone's cars are willing to cooperate. So how's today going for you, man? It's good. I mean, I set a pretty decent lap time and then I ended up blowing the motor on that on the on my flying lap. So, so did you drive it here? I drove it here. Oh no. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about your ITR? What kind of motor do you have? What kind of setup do you have? The car came with a B20 VTEC. Basic bolt-on suspension. It's a pretty competitive car without doing much. Yeah. You know, yeah. So. While well, this year's FF Battlefield was made up of all Honda-powered machines, there was no shortage of diversity. EF Civics, CRXs, Integras, RSXs, and even Preludes were all some of the cards that made up the field. The red sedan of Loy Song is a veteran when it comes to our FF battles, and its stroke of bad luck seemed to continue this year. While they blew an engine last year, this year they lost a gear which caused them to spin out and mow some grass on the infield. Okay, so we're here with um, Amir Bentatu and his RSX one of our FF Battle competitors. Amir, tell us a little bit about your car. It's a 2002 RSX that I converted to the Koki or the late model 0506. It is uh, currently having a couple of issues. We just got it back two nights ago from the body shop, and unfortunately it's a little bit untested. But it's really fun to have it out here. This is the first time I've had the pleasure of driving it on track, and um, actually it was a blast. I wish I could get more uh, seat time with it. 
So th you're not new to uh, to our competitions. Did you drive in some of our s competitions last year? I did. I drove in a far shootout, and I also drove in the Tuner GP for European car. Oh, cool. Nice. So what's it like driving an FF car compared to those? It's a lot of fun. You know, I, I kind of... I have a, enough experience you know, with all drive trains and engine configurations, and I actually really like front wheel drive. It's once you get it set up right, you get the LSD, you know, together and the handling perfect. It's actually one of the most fun platforms to drive. I, I love it. Issues like Amir's are just another reason that proves the track is the perfect place to test your car. Preparation and setup have a direct impact on how fast your car is going to go that day. All right, so now we're here with the other yellow Integra Type R. This is Raymond Lee, and he's kind of a veteran when it comes to our FF battles. Can you tell us a little bit about your day, Raymond? Most of the day was a little rough. Right now, I'm actually in a third, I believe. I'm at 117.1. Um, hopefully, it's good enough to hold third, but I mean, I can't complain. I actually am NA uh, K20 Z3. I only make 215 horsepower. Props to, you know, the guy that's first. I mean, it is what it is. So in, in case you didn't know at home, NA means naturally aspirated. No supercharger, no turbocharger, none of that. Run an all motor, baby. <laughs> okay, we're back with Utah now. Rumor has it that you just picked off the fastest time of the day in this thing. Oh, is it? Did I? Yeah, you did. Oh, how, how fun. Yeah. <laughs> And then I hear somewhere it's, it's making somewhere around 500 horsepower? I, I think a little, little short of that. Holy crap, that's, well, in a, that's in a Honda. And it's manageable, which is amazing. And then fourth fastest is you in your practice car. Oh, I nice. think you're not telling us something here. I think <laughs> you're actually much better than you put off. All right, that's a wrap for day one of Tuner Battle Week. As you can see in the background, we're setting up our group shop for Super Street Magazine FF Battle 7. Today had its fair share of casualties. We lost the motor, we lost the transmission, somebody's tie rod was rubbing on their wheel. That's a weird one, but yeah, that was happening because these guys were pushing their cars that hard. But that's what FF Battle is all about. We want you to come to the track, have a good time, drive on a set of Continental tires, and drive home.